Welcome to St. Killian's, the ultimate foodie haven nestled in the heart of Denver's charming Highlands neighborhood. With over two decades of dedicated service, this culinary gem has been delighting the community since 2001. So step inside with us and prepare to be transported to a world of flavors and sensations. I refer to this as a super calm day. Um, sharper. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, But it should be nutty. Mm. Be warm I love it. And it's wonderful. Yeah. This is perfect. Cool. Well, let's get some. How much Holy smokes, that is so good. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm getting up your recipe a little bit extra for us. Yeah. You know, I'm going to be munching on it. I need at least one fourth of a cup. Okay. So I don't know how much I'll need for that. Okay. I think if, I, if we grated it, then it's not going to be the best grating cheese. Uh, you know, it's okay if it has it like chunky in there. I kind of yeah, yeah. want that bite because the chilies are going to be chunky, so it's yes. going to work. Oh, now we're talking. Okay. <laughs> so just a fourth of a cup, I mean, I, I think like a quarter cup of like Parmesan, mm -hmm. in, or a quarter pound of Parmesan okay. will give you a cup of... Uh, yeah, I think I can go with that. Yeah, okay. And cool. then I do want to try this one that has the Colorado flag on it. Mature, the James Ranch. The Belfort. There you go, that one. I love that too. Oh, that's your <laughs> kind of cheese. Yeah. It's got a little bit more richness. Mm -hmm. more like yeah, I like that. Here. We're going to take the same amount of that one. Same amount. So four pounds each. Yeah. Indulge in the finest artisanal cheeses that transport you to the rolling hills of Europe. They take pride in curating and carefully selecting a range of regional and local products. Their shelves are adorned with high quality Epicurean essentials ensuring that every ingredient you choose is nothing short of perfection. Their selection is a cheese lover's dream come true. From creamy delights to sharp and tangy wonders, there's a cheese for every occasion. And if you're unsure of which one to choose from, have no fear, their experienced staff is there to guide you. Simply ask for a recommendation and they'll steer you towards the perfect cheese and satisfy your cravings. But don't take our word for it. Come and experience the magic of St. Killian's for yourself. We chose a sharp and nutty flavored cheese. It is a Beaufort. I hope I pronounced that correctly. And we're just going to start prepping it so we can make some delicious chile verde scones. What a beauty. And if for some reason you don't like to mess around with too many styles of cheese, that's okay. You can always go with cheddar or a Mexican cheese blend. I'm going to use half of this. And I'm just going to give it a quick chop. And here's a piece for you. I guess now we know who cut the cheese. <laughs> to two cups of all-purpose flour, you want to add one tablespoon of sugar, one teaspoon of salt, half a tablespoon of baking powder. Give that a loving whisk and incorporate all your ingredients. I like my baked goods salty, so I'm using one stick of salted butter. And I place this cut up into little cubes into my freezer because you want this part to be super cold freezing. Think of Colorado during winter. That's exactly what you want to do here. And then you're going to start combining your cold butter into your flour mixture. And if you don't have a dough blender, that's okay. You can use a fork or your beautiful hands. The apparatus is amazing, but I think my hands did a better job in case you guys are wondering if you should buy one or you should use your hands, use your hands. Unless you have arthritis, it's an amazing little gadget. Add one cup of cold milk. Add one large egg. And then you're gonna beat it, beat it because nobody wants to be defeated at breakfast time. And I'm gonna be using these scones for my boys' breakfast. We have a busy morning before they get to school and they're hearty eaters. So this is just gonna be perfect for them. Now to your bowl, you're going to add one cup of your chopped green chilies. We have the Big Jim, and the Big Jim is a medium Anaheim pepper. And let me tell you, I fell in love all over again. You guys know how much I love Anaheim peppers. You're going to add one fourth of a cup of corn. And if you're not feeling in a mood to be corny, you can skip that. One fourth of a cup of cheddar and our chopped Beaufort. 
it's just beautiful. It blends so well with that green chili. Our friend was right on with his recommendation. And now we're gonna give that a lovely mix. Make sure everything gets nice and coated before we add our wet ingredients. Just beautiful, it smells so good. Go ahead and add your wet ingredients. You don't want to over mix, but mix until everything is well incorporated. And you should have some deliciousness that looks just like this. Now that our batter is set, we're going to start scooping our little scones out. I did oil my scooper just to make it easier to drop. Next, you can either place them in the refrigerator for one hour to get nice and cold, or you can keep them in the freezer until you're ready to use them. I'm gonna go ahead and place them in the freezer for about 25 minutes, and then we're gonna start baking. And now you're gonna bake in the oven at 400 degrees for 20 to 23 minutes. Our scones are ready. It smells absolutely delicious in this kitchen, and the scones you see in this tray were placed in the refrigerator for 25 minutes, and these beauties were frozen for 25 minutes. Let's take a peek. And now I'm just gonna give our scones a little bit of polish with some melted butter. This is a frozen, this is a refrigerated. You see that shine right there? That's that delicious cheese. I'm so excited to try it. Now, as far as what I can see, the difference is, is that this one already seems a little bit crispier on the outside and this one just seems a little bit softer. I'm gonna need somebody very special to say, uh. If you ask me, I'm gonna say, place them in the refrigerator instead of freezing them. I have more of a crisp and it works best when I'm gonna dip it into my coffee. Mmm, that's so good as making me blush. 